Hey beauties! So today we are going to be using palette 5 and creating three different looks using this palette. So this is the newest of the unique eyeshadow palettes and this one also is different from the others because it has all shimmer shades. There are no matte shades in this palette. They're all quite vibrant and vivid and shimmery. So it's actually very beautiful and it's not one that I use on a daily basis but it really is quite versatile so we're going to play with it today and see what kind of looks we come up with. Um, and again the wearability of this will just depend on your level of comfort and what type of looks you typically wear. I'm just going to list, I'm just going to list below <laughs> everything that I'm wearing right now. Okay so first I'm going to prime my eyes using the Victorious Matte um, splurge. So this is just um, kind of like the equivalent of like a MAC paint pot in like Painterly or something. Uh, so this is just like a nice uh, base to prime my lids, get rid of any discoloration, and you know get my lids ready to be a good canvas for these awesome colors. Oh, and I'm gonna put a little bit on my lower lash line because we all know I do put eyeshadow on my lower lash line. I'm a rebel. Okay. Okay, so face makeup is going to remain the same for this. Um, the only thing I will be switching up is obviously the eyes and the lips. Okay, so let's get started. Um, okay, so I'm going to start off um, in the crease with Suspicious, which is um, like an, an orangey. No, it's like a, it's like a light orange. And I'm going to go in with the crease brush. And I'm just going to sort of carve out my crease. Now, it is unusual to use, um, or not maybe unusual, but it is not common practice. Practice to use shimmer shades in the crease, but since this palette is all shimmer shades, we are gonna have to live on the edge a little bit. Okay, so I'm creating obviously that like rounded shape and I'm going into that inner corner and all the way around just to darken up my crease. All right, now I'm gonna go in with my finger and I'm gonna put Suspicious on the lower lash line on the outer edge and then all the way in. Okay, then I'm gonna go with Vindictive. So Vindictive is the gold color. We'll pat this on to the outer half of my eyelid. It's pretty. That is a pretty gold. Then for the inner half of the eyelid, I'm gonna use Brilliant which I have been using as a bit of a highlight um, in the inner corner because it is super bright and shimmery. So it's a great, look at that, like whoa. Whoa. Joey Lawrence would be saying whoa to this. I'm just going to sort of mesh those together in the center um, with a little bit of Suspicious. that transition so that it's not quite so abrupt. No fallout, which is really quite awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna go in and do the inner corner highlight with Brilliant. And to kind of mirror, see that is like, that is a highlight. And then to kind of mirror the top, I'm gonna use some of Vindictive, the yellow one right in here in the middle. We're going to do proper, which is the dark brown eyeliner. Do some of polished eyeliner, which is like a bluish silver 
on the lower water line. So I'm gonna go in with our lip gloss in Lucid, which is like the really pretty pale pink. Okay, and this is look number one completed. Okay, beauties, so now we are going to do look number two with palette five. So we are going to start off again in the crease, and this time we are going to start with Sarcastic, which is like a, like a maroon. Okay, and this time I am going to create more of that sort of wing shape as opposed to my usual half moon shape. We're gonna kind of go out on a, go out on a little wing there. This is going to like elongate the shape of our eye. And we don't want to extend past our eyebrow. Okay, so this, <laughs> this is probably gonna be the bolder look of them, huh? Just, I mean, maybe. Um, like, not definitely, but maybe. Going with a shader brush and just buff this out along the edges so that it's not as harsh. I'm gonna go in to Vintage, which is like a rust an orange, like a copper. And I'm going to put that all over the lid. And I really am not experiencing a fallout with this, with any of these colors. Um, there's a little, get, a little bit of kickback in the actual palette when I'm using these colors. Call this look red eye. Um, all right. Okay, so let's go on our lower lash line with Vintage. And again, I am um, obviously comfortable going quite low and smoking it out, but definitely do whatever is your comfort level. I'm going to do our inner corner highlight. We're going to stick with Brilliant because it's Brilliant. So I'm using the same brush that I did before. So it's like really vibrant. Okay. And then I'm going to go with the crease brush again and I'm going to go into Fearless, which is the dark purple. And I'm going to like just make that um, like that line, like cut crease looking line. So this is definitely, um, probably, definitely breaking some rules for what you're supposed to do, but 
we live on the edge, guys, okay? So, okay, this is not a very wearable look. This is becoming, <laughs> this is becoming less and less wearable. You know, like that voice in your head that's like, stop, Jen, don't do any more. It like went to sleep or passed out or something. It's like no longer here. Sometimes things start out kind of crazy, but they actually end up kind of decent. Okay, so let's do some of Fearless on the outer corner. So now we're gonna go in with proper, our dark brown, and I'm going to line the upper lash line. And I'm just thickening up the outer edge so it is not like a wing, it's just kind of like a wedge shape. Okay, and I'm also going to do the lower waterline and lash line with proper. And I'm gonna smudge it out with my finger. Just kind of reminds me of like a sunset. Oh, I like it. Okay, now mascara. For lips, let's do Prudent Lip Liner, and then we're gonna do Lunar Lip Gloss. Um, all right, so this is look number two with palette five. Start with uh, Victorious in the crease. So Victorious is the, ni is the nice, um, the pink color. I'm actually really like legitimately running out of clean brushes. Like, I know that's like a first world problem. I'm just, just sharing. my transition color. All right, and I'm gonna do this on the lower lash line as well. That is like really vivid. Um, now I'm going to go onto the lid with Fearless, which is a dark purple. So let's do it. All right. So I'm actually really impressed with how there is no fallout from these shadows because usually shimmer shades tend to have quite a bit of fallout when you apply them. It's just like kind of how it is. Um, but these guys do not, which is really nice because I did my base first. So this is working out as an advantage. Um, all right, so I'm putting Fearless on the lid and then I'm blending it upwards. This is our smoky look. So I don't know if the house is haunted or cats are knocking stuff over. All right, so now I'm gonna do some of Fearless on the lower lash line, cause we live on the edge, guys. So starting in the center and then blending out so that I have like a nice victorious and fearless mix on my bottom lash line. So let's go in with Perfect Eyeliner, which is black, um, and I'm gonna do upper lash line and lower water line and lash line and I'm gonna blend it out and I'm gonna go into the very inner corner to make it a little more cat-like um, and blend it out on the upper lash line as well Okay, and then just keep um, 
like, it looks so smoky, I love it. Um, so it almost turns it, the black with the purple almost makes it look like a blue. So I'll keep, I'm gonna do another layer and smoke it out again until I get like the desired effect. This is not gonna be the fun one to wash off. <laughs> Ooh, we have a new lip color. Okay, so let's do mascara. And I'm totally thinking of this. Ooh, you guys have no idea. Okay, um, so mascara, top and bottom lashes, if that is what you do. All right, so I'm going to Outline in plush. Okay. And then well to do, which is a really pretty nude. Warm it up a little bit. I'm gonna do some of Lunar Gloss. Okay, and here is look number three from palette number five. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I will link above. I've done one of these videos for each of our palettes. Um, and of course there are more than three looks with each palette, but it's just really great to just kind of see what kind of looks you can get out of the same palette. I feel like sometimes people feel um, like a little limited when you get a palette. And you think like, oh, these all go together, but I kind of only have the same idea, whereas this gives you some other alternatives and some, you know, kind of new takes on the colors so you can play a little bit more. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching.